Hello everybody, Simulation Fallen Nation here and welcome back to Hot Belleron. Now you will see, we finished in the last episode there, we were starting the potato contract, we finished it. And we've also been able to sell all of our milk pretty much and we are looking really healthy now. We still don't have enough money to buy either a new field or a new, uh, a, uh, the field that I would, would like to buy. Nor do we have enough uh, or the opportunity to buy a used combine. So we're just going to keep stacking up money really for now. We have bought one new piece of equipment that was... Uh, actually was available for us in the discounted section uh, we bought a slurry tanker but we also bought a, a, a mulcher and it is the knock uh mulcher over here we're going to be actually hooking that up to one of these machines later on today because we really want to get that going i uh, want to start working over this field here we're going to work over both sides of this then put some slurry onto it because we have a little bit spare and then we're going to get this all plowed in so that should be good uh we have a mountain of bales to clear from everywhere uh, we are going to also mow some hay today and uh, get that ready to roll. Uh, but before we can do that, we do need to just take care of some animals here, which is exactly what we're going to do right now. Uh, we need to mix up a bit of TMR. And then we also need just to get this on the way as well. Get a bit of straw going here. Wonderful stuff. But yeah, we have got to, got to get these animals up and working properly. That's not a problem. It won't take us too long to do. Uh, but first things first, let's just get that bedding done. Uh... Hay is not... We don't have too much hay left there, which is why we're going to be looking to get our own bale and done pretty quickly. That's going to be important for us, that's for sure. And okay, in we go. Uh, this is nice and straightforward. We do need to just uh, pull up the... No, not that one. It's going to be... There you go. Pull that bale in. Stop it rolling away from us there. Lovely stuff. And on we go. And so about here, I can just, for some reason here, it doesn't want to take any straw, but can't be full. We're not full of straw. Hmm, weird. Okay, well, we're not going to put any more straw in. We're full, I guess, you know, for the number of animals we must have there, but they're looking okay anyway. They've got a lot more than they did have. We'll just keep this bale in here for the next time, and then we'll be good. Uh, I'm just going to spin it around. And park this back in the shed. We'll mix up some TMR very quickly, although we don't actually have any. Uh, we don't have any of the pallets that we need of the, the mineral feeds, so we're at a little bit of a, a loose end there. Uh, so let me just park this here for now. We'll have to get some more of those uh, ordered in at some point soon. What we can do is stick a bale of hay in. We'll keep them going until we get that. And we'll just reach over here and grab one of these. Without breaking the baler, hopefully. There you go. Sorted. Excellent stuff. All right, we'll just drop this on the floor. Then uh, this will get all added in. As you can see, 8,000 litre bale of uh, hay here. So I should keep them going. Uh, and then, like I said, we've got a lot of different bits and pieces that we need to look into. I am checking it very frequently just to see how the uh, the used machinery market is looking, hoping that somewhere we can make uh, get a little bit of a advantage. There you go, that disappears. I'll keep them going for a little bit. And like I say, we do need to go and get ourselves a. Uh, we'll put this bale of silage in here now whilst we can uh, get the bale of hay in there that we need to put in as well. We'll just have to wait. We can feed them up a little bit later on there with the with our uh, mineral feed as well. Yeah, it's been a busy August, actually. September is looking a, a little bit quieter. Uh, but yeah, not uh, still lots going on, though, which has been really cool, actually. Nice to kind of feel the pressure of the seasons a little bit more in in default FS, at least. Of course, when you played in 19 with seasons on, you already felt those already. But to have it as a bit more of a, a default in-game there is always pretty cool. like that an awful lot. Uh, I do at some point want to... We're going to spend a little bit of money probably today... I want to put GPS onto the 8S. Uh, I think that's going to be important. That's going to be our main... Uh, doing a lot of the main heavy tillage work. So we want to make sure that's all set up with it. Oh, I need to cut this, don't I? Uh, so that'd be good to do. But it's also expensive, so we'd lose 15 grand there. And then also, I feel like that's due a service as well. So we'll have to get that taken care of. Come on, drop me, please. There you go. Alright. So we'll get these other few bales put into here. 
we do have a lot of round bales that we need to collect but as it is still decent weather we're gonna leave them where they are for now and then we'll always come and get those later on what i'd rather do at the moment is make sure that we can get everything uh that needs to be a bit more time sensitive done so i want to get the hay bales and we'll get that stacked first and then we can uh just say that that's finished so the straw i'm good with staying outside for a little bit longer in fs22 at least with seasons you can keep uh produce outside without it decaying or deteriorating so i'm gonna take advantage of that whilst we can oh lord i'm crying cracking into my own feed there there you go all right what we'll do just let that mix through there you go so now what we need there is a few bales of straw uh we've got these little ones over here we'll just handball in for now uh that'll be good to get those all out of the way as well and then a little uh, probably half a pallet of mineral feed i think it usually takes and then we are golden or he took away our load of produce for this morning not a very big load because we didn't actually keep one of these greenhouses going overnight and that one needs more water in it as well uh but yeah, anyway still keeps the revenue coming on in we'll make sure they're already they're flying by the time uh the, the day is out we're looking good i fancy putting the old massey onto the mower today just to make it growl a little bit i think that'll be pretty cool to see so we'll do that and then yeah the voucher we needed to we had row crops on the voucher uh to try and see if we get a bit more slurry onto the grass without doing any harm uh but we'll take those off we'll stick a stick the regular tires back on we'll put the mulcher onto the back of that and send all the way to do a bit of field work and we should be looking good and all right we're looking all right there we just need to get the mineral feed which we'll we'll bring in later on like i say that but we can knock this off for now uh, the cattle have got some straw that they can kick around with and they've also got some hay so they should be good for now anyway uh so and we'll be going out for a bit of a spin very shortly in the jcb to make sure we can get all these bales stacked up Should be a job for later on hay is the first priority today and it's looking like it's going to be a good second cut actually i'm very pleased with how this is all coming together good planning there from the start that's for sure all right stick our regular tires back on we'll go and get this but what looks like a fairly easy and simple uh, mulcher doesn't take the power of the uh the tnc's but it'll do exactly the same job and it's a lot cheaper i think i picked this up on the sale for about four grand actually so you know can't really argue with that i would maybe like to go with a double roller but four grand for the same thing not to be sniffed at really so uh this will do a fine job for us uh, and we'll just get this set away and it's also the good first step we will be doing this to all of our ground i want to make sure that we we get the best yield out of our fields as possible especially now we're going to make them a little bit bigger so we really want to make sure we uh we're capitalizing on that really so uh out that, out that folds and it'll also get rid of this weed problem we've uh, got in this field for a starting point uh and then we will be good to go so we'll start in the area that we've plowed over here and that we obviously stone picked as well well i'll probably do it does seem to be a little bit light on the front end but we'll see how we get on I will likely just go and do the full run on this st section here uh, so we can s make sure that it's all working all right and then yeah we'll really start to see it coming to its own when we get onto this bit here there and that's what we want to see we do need to put our fence line up here that is something that now we're getting a little bit more money and we can definitely look into uh, i took on the potato harvesting contract as you well know that that was w well worth it in the end i think on top of the contract we made about 13 grand off the excess uh, sale there which is great uh, so that is all good uh there is a large contract for cultivation today which is due on field uh 36 however that is the field that i still have those bales in to collect so i need to do that first and then we'll we'll probably look into doing it where we can but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's just something on the on the to do list there for sure. Okay, so this should be a bit more of a telltale opportunity. There you go. See where we've been. Lovely stuff. And then hopefully, I work will like how that looks and will take over nicely for us. Do 
do love the texture of the uh, the stubble, oil seed rape stubble there. It's a little bit dense now. We did also increase this, uh, the, the crop density here. So it does look a little bit better in my opinion. Yeah, we'll get this all rolled over and then we should be looking good. So hopefully uh, I will at the end of this line be able to get the worker away. We're going to get the 670 onto a, uh, a mower and then we can get some uh, real good work going. There they blow. Wonderful stuff. It's supposed to add something like an extra 5% to your overall yield with a bit of mulch in there. So we'll be happy to take that where we can. And then that means this field will be good. We can get the bales cleared over there. I think there's only going to be about 10 bales on there to clear. Uh, we've already brought two in for the uh, for the feed, so it should be even better. Even easier. Uh, but yeah, we'll just knock this off here for now whilst we wait. Let's just double check whilst we're here. Make sure I'm not missing out on anything new. I don't need, it. I don't need any of these, really. I'm good for my bale and setup right now. did wonder uh, about the possibility of a new Massey but uh, to replace the Valtra let me know if we should if you think we should go all red I think it would look pretty cool I, I am probably a little bit impartial there a little bit biased sorry uh, but yeah do let me know if you think we should make this an all red farm maybe like with the uh, 6s or something if it comes up I know we used one in the uh, har potato harvesting contract if something like that became available at a slightly discounted rate I could easily see myself getting involved with that oh he's doing something oh well, it looks like he's going to do it two separate halves there maybe oh well we'll let him go we'll let him do it Channeling my inner farmer Phil here today with the uh, the big old girl on the mower. Lovely job. This tree is not well placed. I must admit, I made a miss. Bit of a mistake with that. All right, but yeah, look at this. This is not looking all too bad, really, in my mind. Lovely looking crop here. Nice and thick, ready to go, fully fertilized. You'd love to see it. Uh, we'll get this all done. And then we can, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get the tether straight in there. We picked that up ages ago and got a really good deal on that one as well. So uh, we'll be good to get this rattled out and turn into hay nice and quickly. Not sure about what my best speed will be here, but let's try something like that. Oh, we're flying, folks. There you go. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. One thing I did notice as well today whilst I was in this tractor, the tractor clock is in tune with the game time. I mean, that's just a small thing, but I love it. I think that's really cool to see. Nice and accurate. Uh, I think that's just brilliant. Really, really cool. A lot of little features like that that I absolutely love about FS22. I really, really do. Okay, now we are. So as I've been mentioning, you know, we're, we're doing quite well from a financial standpoint. There are a few things that I want. I'd love to know what you think we should get here. So let me know. There's a, there's three different options. We continue to save up and we look to get a new piece of land. We uh, look to trade in the Deutz combine. And if there's a new combine that becomes available, I can nearly, I'm just a little bit shy of being able to afford to buy the new, uh, new Holland, actually. I'm only about... I mean, I haven't factored in the header or anything like that, but the actual combine itself, I'm probably only about 20 grand away from being able to afford that. So let's say if a combine comes up for sale, do I pick up one of those or do I look for a tractor? What do you reckon we should do? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and I will see what that looks like as we start to progress through. But yeah, I have my ideas, but I'd love to know what you all think as well. And in the meantime, though, we're just going to keep cracking through, get all of this knocked down with, the, uh, with this lovely little setup. And then we'll be on to making a bit of hay. That's the last real time sensitive thing I need to do. And then it's all going to be bale clearing and field prep. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we can get a live stream in this weekend coming, which should be around the same time that we cross over 18,000 subscribers as well. So if we do that, do make sure you come and stick around for it because I think to celebrate that milestone, we'll do a little bit of a giveaway as well. So 
Uh, if you're still after a copy of uh, Farming Simulator 22, that might be your best time to find it. So let's hang on and see. Uh, but for now, we're just going to keep ticking along here, see what we can do, and I shall speak to you all later on. Until then, though, folks, thank you ever so much for watching. I have been Simulation for the Nation. If you have enjoyed and you yet to do so, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, and we shall see you all in the next one. Until then, do stay safe, enjoy what you're doing as always, and we'll catch you later.